All right, so as I already made clear in my uh, well in my introduction, is that that data is a super important aspect of Houdini. It's basically the most important part, and that's the thing you're gonna need to understand when working in Houdini. And once you do, you can basically do anything. So before I'll actually start explaining the Houdini user interface and maybe some other stuff, I really just wanna do a quick overview over. Um, like some aspects of data in Houdini and how they might differ from other 3D packages. Um, as already mentioned, uh, I'm, I might use a couple of technical terms that uh, for like if you're already a 3D veteran and you've been doing 3D for a couple of years already, uh, then you should know all these terms. Um, if you're completely new to 3D, you might not know these terms. Uh, you probably can still follow along with the tutorial, uh, but I will be using some industry terms that well, are just generally known. Uh, but I mean, if you're, if you're confused by that, uh, just keep keep watching. In the end, it will all become clear, but just keep in mind that I'll be using some, uh, some of those terms while explaining stuff. All right, so basically a 3D object will be just points in space connected by polylines. Uh, and then in the middle, you'll have a, uh, well, a polygon, a, a primitive. And in Houdini, each of these components are different data types. Let's say okay, we have these points, and each point will have a coordinate in 3D space. So if you remember back from high school, from, from, uh, from maths, you have uh, quick maths. But uh, you have, uh, let's say you have a y-axis, you have an x-axis, and you have a z-axis. Let's say this point over here would be perhaps at x. 0.3, y 0.7, and z 0.4. So just saying where it is located in 3D space. So it, basically, 3D programs will work the exact same way. And in Houdini, you can also see that. For example, if I look over here, you can see every point here as a location in space. So in Houdini, there is actually uh, different data types uh, which can contain these attributes. If I zoom in a little bit here on a part of my grid, um, you see I have a couple of points here and they make up a primitive. So you can see I have point zero here. So this point over here on the left is point zero. It has a number and I can highlight it as well. So that point is point zero, it's point one over there, point three over there, point four over there. And these points make this, um, yeah, make this polygon basically. So this polygon, this, this is a primitive. The polygon is, a, is called a, a primitive. And then you have these lines in between. These are the, the polylines. And basically when they close, they make this primitive. This primitive has a number as well. So this is uh, primitive number zero. Um, so basically you can see if I go across this, uh, this grid, you can see there's four primitives and there's eight points. Well, actually nine because we start at zero of course here so there's nine there's nine points so that's basically just uh, well the data types in Houdini but you can also see that each point here has uh, four purple dots so these four purple dots are actually vertices so in Houdini it's a little bit different from other 3d programs in that other 3d programs just use vertices as points as well. So if you just say vertex, you mean a point. In Houdini, there's a difference. So every point has um, four vertices around it. Well, basically, if, if it's if it's going to be a quad, so this is a quad, so it's going to have four com like uh, uh, well quads around it. So it's going to have four uh, four vertices. You can see over here as well. So there's the those are the vertices. Um, and these are generally used for uh, shading stuff. So points are usually are used for position based stuff. So if I want to uh, like change some position things, like I want to do a simulation and I want to like like do uh, have particles move around, those particles are points. If I want to like like uh, distort my mesh, it's gonna happen on points. 
So it's gonna it's gonna add stuff to the point. We're gonna do shading stuff like shading normals. So normals are the direction that uh, basically a vertex is facing, or um, UVs for example. UVs will also be you generally in um, in 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 on on the vertices. Normals can also be on points. UVs can also be on points, but the thing is that there's more vertices, and you so you have you can have more detail uh, on your on your vertices. A good way to demonstrate this is that well, you don't really have to follow along. But if I put uh, put a color and I put the color to random, I scroll out, and I kind of need a little bit more detail to show this accurately. Let me put twelve by twelve. As you can see I get random colors. You can see them sort of blending together but you can put these colors also on, on different data types so right now they're on the points we're gonna go over this this little window here in, in the second by the way I'm just just keep keep following along with what i'm doing so now they're on the point if i put them on the vertices you can see it looks way different so now every vertex will get a random color but now you can see there's no weird blend between the uh, like there's like right now it's just blending from point to point if I put it to vertex you can see these there's these hard lines because right now it's doing on the vertices if I do it on the primitives you can see I just get primitive color so every quality for every primitive so those are basic like the basic data types that you're gonna work on you're gonna work on points you're gonna work on vertices and you're gonna work on um uh, yeah, on 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 the uh, on the primitives, and there's also there's more data types. You also have detail attributes, and detail is going to be work on the entire thing, so the whole thing at once. Anyway, so those are the the just basic um, yeah data things in Houdini that can contain data, and each of these can contain different types of data. Now, with that out of the way, let's just dive into just explaining the basic user interface of Houdini before we move along. But this is what this was something I wanted to make clear before we start uh, doing other stuff. Because when I'm going to talk about the user interface, we're going to talk. We're going to go on the different uh, contexts in Houdini, and then I'm also going to mention some of these some of these things. So I thought it would make sense to first explain the difference between points, primitives, uh, vertices, and and detail. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's dive into the next part. Mm -hmm.